Hello, brothers and sisters. So, South Africa has unintentionally beat the climate goals due to load shedding. So, to give you an idea, today from 5 to 7 a.m., we had no power. From 1 o'clock this afternoon till half past 3, we'll have no power. Then we have half an hour's power, if we're lucky. And then from 4 o'clock till half past 5, we'll have no power. And then directly after that, from 9 o'clock till half past 11, we'll have no power. And then in the early hours of the morning, we'll continue again. So an average of eight and a half to nine hours plus, And that's not factoring in breakdowns, corruption, theft of cables that happen in these times. So the average South African is seeing 10 hours plus of load shedding a day. And now this little nugget of article comes out. South Africa is ahead of its target for cutting emissions of greenhouse gases. Output of the climate warming gases of the world's 14th biggest emitter is falling, even though its nationally determined contribution, the target adopted by the cabinet in 2021, only forecasts a decline from 2025. Regular breakdowns of the coal-fired power plants that supply more than 80% of South Africa's electricity means that less carbon dioxide is being pumped into the atmosphere and daily rotational cuts of more than 10 hours a day are limiting emissions from factories. It's unintentional, Crispian Olver, the executive director of South Africa's Presidential Climate Commission, said in an interview in Joburg on Monday. We reckon we are well within the range of meeting our 2030 target, he said. The 2021 goal was key to South Africa securing pledges of 8.5 billion rand in climate finance from some of the world's richest nations. So, as a South African and understanding the corruption of my leadership in this country, I can tell you straight off the bat, my first thought is, because we're saying a lot of things about the corruption and how this whole thing is controlled and forced, they're forcing this load shedding to the levels that we're at at the moment. Besides the normal breakdowns and everything else and corruption and theft, they're forcing this issue to the levels we're living at now so they can get to their target quickly and thereby unlock the pledges of another $8.5 billion coming their way that they can then happily steal and appropriate and make disappear into deep pockets as usual. Coming to a country near you soon. If you guys need help with your climate goals and your emission goals, we'll be happy to export some of our ruling government people to your government to help you with theft, corruption, and climate goals. God bless. I, for one, am surely happy to be leaving very, very soon. Shalom.